Hi everybody, thank you for stopping by at my channel, I'm Ronnie. Uh, let us reason together, introduction. Uh, the last time I finished some of my series about the revelation, okay, uh, and I mentioned to you also that I'm going to talk about something, and I'm using the material from Bob Dewey, and I think I mentioned to you the name over here, Bob Dewey is actually his name. And because so many people ask me so, much, so many questions about uh, the King James only, I did mention a couple times about it, and through all my paperwork and things like I found out, I feel this is the easiest uh, thing to explain more in detail about where it comes from and uh, to answer the question, okay? So, uh, Let's start all over again. This, this is written in 1997, okay? Ju uh, July, August. So, let's go and start it already. Uh, I like to start with uh, a scripture that tells you over here behind me. It's Romans 15, 4, okay? And it says over there, For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction that through perseverance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. I like to, when I read this, I will try to read as possible, I mean, slow as possible, yet not too slow, because there's so much information, I hope that, that, that really you get a good hold of it, okay, because it is important that uh, you follow it very closely. It says over here, in recent years, an old debate has rekindled in the King James, the only valid, is the King James, the only valid translation of the scriptures for English-speaking people. Uh, G.A. Uh, Ritlinger has published a book that claims not only that the King James is the best translation, but that all other modern versions, including the New King James, are the product of a New Age conspiracy. Filled with over 600 pages of charts, quotation footnotes, and numerous examples of similar similarities between the New Age teaching and words found in various translations of the Bible. Her book has convinced some people that she is right. Ripplinger is not the first to propose that new translations are subject and that King James is the only valid English Bible. In the 1950s, con controversy attending the pu publication of the uh, Revised Standard Version partly because it was published by the National uh, Council of Churches and partly due to the translation of Isaiah 7.14 as young women rather than virgins. The RSV was deemed liberal and unacceptable to most conservatives. Bible believe Christians since the King James was the only major uh, alternative at that time. It remained the Bible for most evangelicals. Since the RSV did translate virgins correctly, correctly in the New Testament passages that teach the virgin birth, perhaps the translators were not trying to deny the virgin birth in Isaiah 7.14. The Hebrew word translated in Isaiah 7.14 as virgin in the NASB is not translated that way in any other Old Testament passages. Nevertheless, the RSV became suspect and was never adopted by many conservatives. With the appearance okay, of the New American Standard Version, the New International Version and other English translations 
uh, English-speaking Christians now have several options. Ripplinger, Ripplinger uh, and others, however, have charged that very new translation, including all recent lexicons, or lexicons, Bible dictionaries, and other study aids are the result of a grand new age conspiracy to change the Bible and deny the deity of Christ. According to this conspiracy theory, the Greek text that we use are also corrupted. Some of the scholars texts and lexicons in, and indicted by Ripplinger are Brown, Driver's Briggs, uh, Ellen, the New Testament, Strong's Concordance, and the Theologi uh, Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. Ripplinger would leave us with the King James Bible and virtually no study aids. Is this God's plan? Are all of these a grand scheme of Satan? Manuscript discoveries, including the Dead Sea Scrolls, the research that has given us a rich understanding of the Hebraic uh, background that, uh, the, the, of the New Testament, the discovery of ancient manuscripts which have verified that authenticity of the Bible before liberal critics and the uh, revision of the King, G King James Bible itself into versions of English that are meaningful to current readers. So here, <clears throat> as, a, as, as a implausible as it is, Gail Rittlinger has convinced many Christians to abandon everything but their King James Bible. Uh, we will we'll, we'll exam, uh, uh, examine that, okay, her book, and the theory behind it. So it's here, you have to understand, it all started in a way because of the, somebody, you know, in the RSV, okay, RSV, okay, but Isaiah 7.14 mentioned the word young women instead of virgin. So here, they make a big deal out of it. And they don't understand, and I always remember one thing. Scripture interprets Scripture. And we all know, when you read certain things, let's say, ten points, okay, and nine points are agreeing, and one point is not really exactly as a, agreeing with the nine, you stick with the nine. Not just because one says, no, that is not right, or a uh, different opinion, they change the whole thing. You cannot do that, okay? So... Here's the beauty of, like it says over there in uh, Romans 54, let's, let's read it again. For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction, that through perseverance and the encouragement of the Scriptures we might have hope. So let's see what is all in, involved in this uh, attack, so this, may I use the word? from this particular person about only the King James, okay? Now, getting the God's Word, the very important point is this, getting God's Word to the people, okay? To understand the problem with uh, Rip, uh, Ripplinger's theory, we should first understand the history that led to modern English translating translations of the Bible. The King James Bible itself was the result of a desire to get the Word of God into common person's hand. So, translation the Bible into common language of the people, in turn, was a positive result of the Reformation. Luther translation the Bible into German. A Whitecliffe, an earlier pioneer, translated the Bible into English. The 1611 King James itself was a revision. Do you remember it says? The 1611 King James was a revision of earlier Bible that can be traced back to Tyndale. The concept of revision, of revising a previous translation using multiple scholars to check one 
another's work and accessing multiple document uh, sources was applied to the King James Bible. The King James translators used whatever sources they had at their disposal. Consequently, they had what, uh, consulted the translators and commentaries in all languages. You're talking about uh, Kald uh, Kaldi, uh, Hebrew, Syriac, uh, Greek, Latin, Spanish, French, Italian, and German. So that is the same thing, okay? The modification to use such scholarship came directly from the, refor from the Reformation. Using the best sources to make accurate translate, trans translations into current languages uh, countered the Roman Catholic. It countered the Roman Catholic, insisting that the Latin Vulgate was the only authoritative translation of the Bible. Okay? The Catholic believed that. Okay? The notion has effectively kept the scriptures and the truth from the common person. This in turn has the sorry result of making the people vulnerable okay, to being misled and taking what advantage of by the clergy. It's no wonder that many were martyred for their uh, audacity of seeking to put the Bible in the hands of the people. What is he saying over here? The Roman Catholic, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. I remember they believe only, okay, in the <coughs> uh, Fulgate, uh, you know, translation. And what happened now, the real Bible, they put a chain over it. So people cannot. And other people who's trying to find out really what the Bible says, they are being what? M martyred by the Roman Catholic. Because they don't want them to know what the Bible has to say. They have to l listen to the clergy, period. And it still happened today. Even with different uh, religion. People don't realize that. Okay? Now, react reaction against Bible translators. Okay? The strange irony is that the very argument used against modern uh, versions today were used against the 1611 King James Version. For example, uh, Hartwood uh, Patterson wrote, The Witch Minier, which soon after this time sent its uh, disastrous consequences even into New England, was already in the air, and the translators were accused of giving in to the uh, superstition of the king in their use of such words as familiar spirit, witch, and wizard. Another irony is that the King James himself was an opponent of the Puritans. So like I said, history is important to understand what's happening and how it all comes about, okay? But it was they who urged that the New English translation be undertaken. James wanted power and, his, in, and the high church with bishops and ecclesiast ecclesiastical uh, privilege suited his purposes. So he has a purpose and the meaning why he started it, okay? For some reason he thought a new first person under the uh, auspices, okay, would enhance his situation. He favored one uniform translation. Let the universities, let the universities prepare it. The church uh, dignitaries, uh, dignitaries revise it, the Privy Council approve it, and then he would himself give it, give to it his royal authority, so the whole church should be bound to it and to none other. He also refused 
marginal notes because, uh, notes because an English lady had given him a copy of the Geneva Bible and the notes he found full of lurking treason against the power that be. The good things that resulted was that the people got a better English translation than was previous available and one that was considerably updated into current language usage. The King James use was, was uh, what was then modern English. Uh, Patterson's book includes a cover page from Tyne, uh, Tyndale's New Testament in the, in the original form, and it is nearly unreadable. As a matter of fact, the King James, not uh, most people, read today bears little remembrance, resemblance to the one published in 1611. You understand what I'm saying? When you talk to people and they start, oh, they only believe in the King James, 99% as far as I know, they don't talk about the, the, the Bible, you know, the King James Bible in 1611. They talk in Bibles from the King James. They are being, are in, you know, they, they already changed that. So, y you know, in a nice way they are cheating or lying, whatever you want to call it, okay? So, uh, it has undergone dozens of revisions even in our, uh, in our century. Jack Lewis comments on this and asks, which of all these revisions is to be considered the real King James? To provide a readable Scholarly translation of the Bible in the current language of the people stand in the Reformation uh, tradition with the purpose of keeping the scripture in the hand of the people and not confined only to the ecclesiastical elite. The King James provided that service for many years, but it cannot, as, it all, as all it owns, revisions show uh, continue to do so if it is considered to be what it never claimed to be, the only English version of the Bible God wants people to read. You understand what I'm saying? I hope you understand what I'm saying. So here, they have different revisions already. They don't go back to the first King James Bible in 1611. So in reality, they are lying and cheating. And yet they believe only in the King James. A lot of people in their mind thinking, oh, the 1611 it is not true. The King James was subject to criticism that are amazingly similar to those now used against current translation, according to the Cambridge his History of the Bible. For 80 years after that publication in 1611, the King James Version endures bitter attacks. It was denounced as theologically unsound and ecclesiastical bias as trucking to the king and unduly uh, deferring to his belief in witchcraft as untrue to the Hebrew text and relying too much on the Septuagint. The personal integral text of the translators was in impounds, uh, I think is how you pronounce it. Among other things, they were accused of blasphemy, most damnable uh, corruption, intolerable deceit, and vile imposture. So here you're talking about pretty strong language, okay? They were also being attacked, and yet they continue saying, we only believe the King James Bible. Those who resent that the new translators rely on manuscript discover of the last 100 years would have to likewise criticize the King James. They were working with text that only recently had been available. Much of the er earlier work on the Greek text had been done by Hermes in the 1600s. He had been roundly criticized because he
he dared depart from the sacro sacrosense Latin Vulgate. Okay, uh, Adamus had dared to provide his own Latin translation. Conservative scholars like Lee, Archbishop of, of, Young, of York, argue as men of the old learner that if Adamus in the Greek condice uh, did not contain what was in the Vulgate, then they should have done so and must be rejected as erroneous. Uh, so here, there are certain people already who put their own uh, opinion in, and they start twisting things again. So here, I'd like to stop, and I hope, I said, you know, that's, uh, I, you know, I'd like to go little by little, so let's, 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 uh, let what I just read, let us sink in what's going on and why uh, this uh, person, you know, who believes and people follow her particular uh, explanation, okay, that there's the only King James and all the other translators or trans tra translation books and, and, and dictionaries are no good. But as I shared with you in Romans uh, 15.4, uh, 514, I'm sorry, 15.4, yes, is completely different what it says. So uh, let's stop over here and I will continue what he had to say more in detail, more in depth. And it's so beautiful that we have this information because this man, this, this Bob, did a lot of research, okay? And so as far as I know, he's the only one I've, I've, I've read so far from all the other uh, people who also are, are against the teaching of the only King James, they never give me all this information. So this this condensed, and this man, this Bob, you know, like I said, I, I respect the man of all his work and sincerity because that's why when I teach or even I study, I have at least four or five different translations. You want to be sure. And the ones I, I, I go by is the one I, I pretty sure know that the translators are pretty correct and honest. So I have to say I have to stop right now. I say I would say then thanks for stopping by. If you've got anything of my uh, videos, please give me the thumb up. Uh, if you subscribe, uh, please ring the notification bell. And I will say then till next time. God bless you. And have a good day. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.